What's up, man? Just put your hands behind your back. No, 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 no. Put your hands behind your back. On June 29, 2023, officers received a call about an employee who had been fired refusing to leave after causing a disturbance among the employees. Alright, so, here's your stuff. When you leave, understand something. You can't come back to this location at all. You've got other Jimmy Johns, just not this one. That means if you're coming through this plaza and you come up to this doorway, you need to make an overt action to show you're going around the property. Do you understand? Okay, then you need to leave. As in now, don't leave right now, I'm going to put you across, I'm going to take you away for trespass. This one, right? You can go anywhere you want. Uh, you just can't can. stay on the property here. I can't go to Jimmy John's. Yeah. Well, Jimmy John's in the parking lot here. Hey, Jimmy John's is where I'm barred from, so I can't go to Jimmy John's, right? Yeah, and if you look at it and the surrounding parking lot or area. No, 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 that's not what it says. Yeah, it does say that, the premise is of. This is considered the premises. Doesn't mean you could stand out here on the fire lane and, and continue to be a nuisance to the business. Okay? If you want to go over to Oceanville, you can do that. That's fine, but you can't be in this area. Correct. That's right here. Correct. But this is continuing. This is where the business pl played for park here. That's part right of the business. Here. That's two, three, four, six. That's this Jimmy John's. Yeah, this you can go to other Jimmy John's. No, that's this spot only. A, you can't stand right outside the doors and just be a, be a nuisance here. You understand that? I wasn't doing that. That's okay, the, okay, but I'm, I'm not saying it to you, but they have a right to ask you to leave. They're the, they are the they work I here. I work here too. But they fired you. That's what they told us. They fired you. That has nothing to do with them. The person that Okay, then you know what? You have to call the owner and deal with them then. That's not our me. We already talked about this. Okay, well obviously there's some disconnect. And that's between you and the owner. No, that has nothing to do with me and the owner. That little girl thinks she owns the damn place. Okay, then why do you talk to the owner if he owns the place and he doesn't uh, like her doing that? That's between her and the owner. I can't tell her not to call she's, the police. She's not supposed to be there. She's the one fired. All right, well, I, we're under a different, different information. So if that's the case and you know the owner and this is wrong information, okay, he can easily fix it. But that's between you and him. I'm, we got called here as a police service call from the business. And they have a right to I'm ask I'm going to tell leave. you what happened earlier. Okay. Since I've been here. Okay. The whole day. Okay. His ass stole some shit. Okay. He put that shit in the back of his car and it's still in the back of his car from this business. Okay. I've been here all day watching this shit. Okay. He stole some shit from this business, all right? Okay. And, and you said that you have the owner's phone number, right? Yeah. Okay. But so I'm going to call him right now because he's busy. Okay. So you, could, so you call him when he's not busy. You know him, right? And you, okay. can, you can clear this up. So this is what's the serious shit about this. Okay. Their ass is stealing. Okay. From a business. Not, they're stealing from a business. Mm -hmm. I'm clearly working here for a reason. Mm -hmm. I'm making sure they're working. That's all I'm here to do. Okay. And, and that's fine. And, and, and like I said, if that's the case, okay, you'll, you said that the owner's busy right now. You yeah. discuss, you tell him what's going on. Say that the police were called here. Okay, that they told me I had to leave the business and there was this discrepancy over where I work here. Or I work here. If they change that and he's like, well, that's not what happens, then he could always rescind the borrowing form. But as of right now, we only have the information as we have here now. And they, as employees of the business, they're working, they have a right to ask you to leave. Or leave. So it sounds like you don't want to cause yourself a disturbance. They can't ask me, look, if I'm an employee, you can't ask an employee to leave. That makes no damn sense. How do I know who's telling me the truth? Do I know who works here and doesn't work here? This is what I'm telling you. I understand that. I am the one who saw everything. And, I, and, and nobody's taking that away from you. It's not like... You, you can check the cameras. Okay, I understand that. But the owner has got to call us and say, yes, they stole this and I want to have How this How can the owner do that if he's busy? What's going to change now until tomorrow? Is, 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 is it... Things not going to... Am I not going to be able to identify the person who stole it? He works here also. He has... I can get his name. But as of right now, he... he I'm part owner of the store. I hope you know that. I, I, I have no idea anything. Nobody told me anything. That's, I just got here as a backup. That's what I'm letting you know. I'm okay. part owner okay. of the store. Okay. But, so this is what I'm telling you. So so why would they have? Why would they be telling the part owner of the store to leave? Well, that doesn't make any sense. That's what I was trying to tell him, but I don't understand why he did all of that. So I'm telling you. Okay. I am part owner of the store. Okay. And so this is what I'm telling you about those two. Okay. Those two sat there creating diversion today. 
Okay. And watch this one steal some shit and put it in his orange fucking car. Okay. That's what happened today. And I understand that. And I'm not and I'm not trying to negate that that's not what happened. But my advice to you is this. If that's what happened, you have, you know the owner. You said he's busy. You that's can get, what I was here today for. He wanted to find out who was stealing from the store. Okay. And that's what and I that's found something, out. That, and that's something. And listen. That's something where you can talk to him on the phone. And say, hey, listen, I saw such X, Y, and Z. That's what this is here. That's what this is all about so right now. Where is the, where's the owner, though, that you say you know? He's not here. Huh? Well, you say you, you know the owner, and you were here to talk to him. So where is he? I am part owner, for sure. But oh, now you're part owner? Yeah. How, yeah. Is, how is that possible? They're saying you're an employee fired by the manager. You can't be part owner if you're fired by a manager. You would be able to fire said manager. So that doesn't make any sense. The manager... Owns the store of the franchisee, right? So you're a manager here? I'm not the manager here. So how are you a part owner? The owner's the manager. So then you're not a part owner. I, so you're part. Leave the area. All right, you've already been explained what's going on. Leave the area. Listen, you call your call the manager and discuss it with him. If he if you can figure this out. I'm talk to him. Tell him what I just told you. I, I'm, I'm not negating that, but understand something. I don't work here. I don't know. Okay, I got called here for a disturbance. So let, him know, let him know what I I'll just tell you. Either way, I'll it doesn't matter. You need to leave. I'm not going to say it again. You have five seconds before I put cuffs on you. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. The caller is the manager. The, the day manager. Who's that? The, the young female called on behalf of the dude I was talking to in the beginning. With. So who's the actual owner of the business? I have no idea. This is just regular... Shift workers doing their regular manager. I would ask them who the owner is. Give them a call. I'm just telling them that this guy's here. And I would just let them know that this guy's claiming that he's part owner. Acting like that doesn't make any sense. Thank you. Yeah, you know who Yeah, he's manager part owner of the store. So yeah, obviously we know he's not. Uh, that's why I told him he had five seconds, and when I started counting down, he finally left. Um, however. Yeah, you know Make sure you contact the owner and let them know that's what he's trying to claim and he's going to cause you guys more He's going to be back causing problems. I can just tell from the briefing. He, he's like, he, 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 I don't know if he's like... That's a smart move and I do not blame you at all, man. Um, so, if he shows up again at all, Norman calls him immediately so that he doesn't like start something, all right, and then we can handle it. All right, treat him like any other customer so you don't have to worry about him starting to go how long has he been working here? Uh, he only worked here for like a week or two. A week? Yeah. Started, but then how did they hire? How did this guy end up getting hired? Well, so my general manager did the interview with my head, and then he said he was like fine. He was answering questions. When he first got the job, he would not speak a word. Not a single thing. We talked about He looks familiar. I don't recognize the name, and he's out of Miami, but he looks familiar. Like I've dealt with him before. He's a regular homeless person that is consistently doing this kind of stuff. Who's the owner of the store? Uh, his name's Ryan. Uh, He's the one hired? No, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah. I, get the, I, get the, I would get in contact with EJ. You said the general manager is, right? Yes. Get in contact with him. Shoot him a text or something. He's like, hey man, listen, this is what's going on. That new hire that we just got rid of, that you brought on, it's causing issues. We just barred him. Police are concerned he's going to end up coming back, so you might want to yeah, look yeah, out on this. I have a uh, hold in my area for the streets. Is that the manager who goes to the house for us? Like a district manager yeah, kind of deal? Exactly. So he's like below the below the under. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, he's on right now. I think he's on the line on the general manager right now. Yeah, that way you guys can put the word out that if you try to go to any other Jimmy Johns yeah. in the local area, they know right off the bat. Because no. he might even go to another one of your locations that your that the owner of this particular franchise owns. You might try to go to another one and be like, no, I'm a worker over at the other one and start causing an issue there. So we, we don't want to see that happen. Yeah. All right, because we don't want to see another one of your employees, like yourself, ma'am, or even yourselves that don't feel comfortable at work. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be happening. Yeah. So, all right. and he, he thinks he's part owner of this place. He's not. But he's also someone who's probably going to tell us whatever he thinks is going to be useful. But that's what he's called Baker Act. Well, yes, except the Baker Act only if he's going to be harming himself or harming others, not in compliance with the medications, 
we can't do it just because he just wants to say something weird, like I'm a part owner, when we know it's not. Because he could be saying that just to try and get out of this. That's just a lie at that point. There's nothing about that that harms you guys or harms myself, or the aggressive public, or anything else. And that's the problem. Our hands are limited compared to what a doctor would do, as far as being right? All right. Good luck to you guys. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We'll let you know. What's up, man? Hey, put your hands behind your back. Oh, no, 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 no. Put your hands behind your back. Y'all can't take that shit. We can't take it. It looks like we, we took it just fine. No, y'all can't keep my shit. Oh, yeah. do you? No, we don't want your shit. Yeah, Temple. Uh, 2398. Oh, yeah, well, you have to have to let me go. You have to have to let me go. I ain't do shit. Y'all want to Bro, y'all want to camera say otherwise. Y'all want to go on me. I'm on a 68. I am barred. I'm about to go home. That's the truth. So, therefore, I am not trespassing. Trespassing means I have to be inside of the place. Not I'm not true. That's, no, you. that's the law. If I'm not inside the place, it's not trespassing. What is going on? So if I'm not, if, if I'm not inside the place, I'm not trespassing. What do you need, bro? You anything? Yeah, my cuffs fell out when I went after him. And yeah, go grab him. Go grab him. Got him willing to have him. Cool. Fourteen ninety eight double. I can't be trespassing if I'm barred. That's different. Does this work that's for different. you guys? You know. I am not trespassing. That means I'm not inside the place. All right. One on one. <laughs> it's All right. like, yeah, look, these are baggy though. I'm clearly not inside they didn't even touch them. of the actual establishment. So if I'm not inside the actual establishment, I'm not trespassing. I'm barred. I'm barred. It's different. So if I'm barred, that's not even a level one felony. Well, it's a felony now. No, that you did a battery on a law enforcement officer. Is anyone else in No, right you grabbed me. Cancel. I didn't grab you. You're That's grabbing your fucking me. And I can't grab you. You're committing a crime in my presence. You're going to jail. What's the crime? Lying. Trespassing. That's a lie. Okay. That's the lie. Listen, you can go to the jail. You can talk to each other. You're highly aggressive. I'm highly aggressive. I've been very calm with you the whole time. Even well, over I there, I listened to you talk and everything. I didn't have to do that. So I don't know what you're talking about. When I talked to you it's earlier, obvious. I listened it's to you. It's in my face, bro. Yeah, that's what happens when you fight with the police. Y'all sat there and punched me in my damn head. Yeah, because you're resisting arrest. I, you punched me in my head, yeah, okay. and then you said resist my arrest. Yeah. How you gonna how you punch me in my head and say resist arrest? Hey, that's my check. That's okay. You're not gonna need your check. Anymore. Yes, I am. That's my check. I worked there. I told you I worked there. That don't make no sense. I worked there. That's my check. I told y'all I was rehired. How can you fire somebody who's rehired? That don't make no sense. 
My check is in my pocket. See, it's right there. And that's my license. Yeah, I, don't know, I told him. And that's it. No weapons. Come on now. How are you aggressive for no damn reason? Did the officers ask you to stop? They asked me to do what? Did they ask you to stop? No, they told me to put my hands behind my back. And what'd you do? I moved. You took off? I moved. What, what does that mean? I moved. No, that's it. You, you punched me in the away? face. No, you grabbed me and that was a reaction. Yeah, luckily everything's on body cam. Punch you in the face, you're right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then we chased him down here and took him into custody. Tried to tase him before really? he got in. He went to go pick up the stage. Oh. We both shot our taser. Tried to get him before he went into traffic. He ran into traffic. But... Hey, punch Mike in the face. Like, 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 I went up to go put him, he turned around and went, boom! Gotcha, huh? Bought me. Cool. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> that taser's the last thing I'm grabbing, buddy. <laughs> well, I was trying to get him before he ran in the traffic. What, did he what? trip? What, how would you get him? What? No, I punched him. I know, when he, when he got across the yeah, yeah, what we... Yeah, yeah, he tripped oh, over here, and then we, we fought him on the ground over here. Uh, punched, so he him, punched him in the head. And it's the same thing to everybody every time. Is there anything that is on you? that we have not found, that if they find down there, is going to make it a bigger issue? Because no. if so, we can take care of it now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing. Okay. So where's my bead at? What's that? Where's my bead? Your stuff? My bead. Your bead? What do you mean your bead? You mean your necklace? No. Then what do you mean? What is your bead? Never mind. Okay. I can step out to the feet right there. Behind you, I gotta take some pictures right. for the document your injuries. Step back for me, buddy. That's right. Stop right there. Just look towards me real quick. I gotta take some pictures of your injuries. 